So in the last example, we were given the sketch of an ellipse. We tried to come up with the equation um, based on what we did here at the beginning, getting from this sort of general picture over to the standard form for the equation of an ellipse. Um, now we're given an equation, and we want to get the graph. Now, this one is not given to us in this standard form. I think this is sometimes referred to as the general form, right? Everything's kind of expanded out. But you can probably guess how we end up here, right? We multiply by a squared times b squared so that we can clear the denominator, and then we multiply out the two, right? We expand the two squares, we collect terms, we simplify, we end up with something like this. So if we want to go the other way, of course, the first thing we've got to do is we've got to complete the square in both variables, okay? So we have 4 times x squared minus 2x. I'm going to leave room for another term there. And then we've got 9 times y squared minus 4y, leave room, okay, equals minus 4, okay? Now, of course, what we want to do is we want to put a constant in here that gives us a perfect square. And standard operating procedure for completing the square, half of this number, square it and stick it in. So half of 2 is 1, 1 squared gives 1, right? But I've really done 1 times 4. So I've added 4 on this side. So I should also add 4 on the other side to compensate. Okay. And over here, half of 4, square that. So half of 4 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 9 is really 36. So if I added 36 on this side, I should add 36 on the other side. Okay. All right. So that gives us... 4 times x minus 1 squared, 9 times y minus 2 squared is equal to 36. To get it into the standard form, all we've got to do is divide by 36. And, of course, 36 is 9 times 4, right? I think we were set up to work out nicely for us here. So we get x minus 1 squared. So 4 over 36 gives us 9, which is 3 squared y minus 2 squared. So 9 over 36 is a quarter. So we have 4 on the bottom, which is 2 squared. That should be equal to 1. Okay. So far, so good. Now we're ready to sketch our ellipse. So what do we know? We know that the center is at the point 1, 2. There's our center. Um, we know that a is equal to 3, so we go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. We get those two points, so that's going to be at 4, 2, over here at minus 2, 2. b is equal to 2, so we can go up 1, 2, get to there, 1, 4. We can go down 2. Right? 1, 0. Okay, so there are the four vertices of the ellipse. And now we kind of connect the dots. Okay, so there's my ellipse. If we want to, we can try to sort of indicate the major and minor axes. Maybe we want to put in those lengths, right? The 3 and the 2. Um, if we wanted to indicate the focus, right, we actually know how to get the focus because we have this equation here, right? A squared plus B squared, A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared. Um, so C squared is A squared minus B squared. Um, so if we wanted to get the focus, we can say, well, C squared is going to be A squared, which is 9 minus B squared, which is 4, is 5. So C is plus, you know, C is plus or minus root 5. So we can then go to 1 plus root 5 and 1 minus root 5 if we wanted to plot the two foci. Um, but I think we'll leave it like that.